Hi everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we are going to be looking at Stefan's law and we're going to be using that to estimate the radius of the sun. Now, Stefan's law gives us an expression for the luminosity of a star. The luminosity of a star L is equal to its surface area, which is 4 pi r squared, remember that's the formula for the surface area of a sphere, multiplied by a constant, multiplied by the temperature raised to the power of 4. Now, uh, please just keep in mind that in this equation, L once again stands for luminosity, so we can write this down over here. Now, this is just energy per unit time. So it's the total power that is, uh, that is coming out of the star, the total amount of joules per second. 4 pi r squared is the surface area, and in this case, R is the radius of the star, and that's just given in meters. Uh, sigma is a constant which is 5.67 times 10 to the power of minus 8 and the temperature is the, well that's the T is the surface temperature of the star uh, which is of course measured in Kelvin. Now let's apply this to a problem. Okay, folks, well, let's have a go at this question over here. The total power radiated by the sun is 3.8 times 10 to the power of 26 watts. If the surface temperature of the sun is measured to be 5,800 Kelvin, calculate the radius of the sun. So what I'm going to do is just write down Stefan's law, uh, which is that L, the luminosity of total uh, power radiated outwards by the sun is equal to 4 pi r squared times this constant multiplied by the temperature to a power of 4. Now what I'm going to do after this is uh, simply rearrange for the radius. Uh, so R squared is going to equal L divided by 4 pi times sigma, which is the constant times the temperature raised to power of 4. Now what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to square root the entire expression over here. And now I'm ready to plug in some numbers into this expression. So um, this will be equal to the square root of the luminosity, which is the total power. That's going to be 3.8 times 10 to the power of 26. And then we're going to divide this by 4 pi times uh, Stefan Boltzmann's constant uh, is equal to 5.67 times 10 to the power of minus 8 uh, multiplied by the surface temperature which is 5800 raised to the power of 4. Quite a typical error would be to forget to raise this to a power of 4 so please be careful with this and let's put this into a scientific calculator and this is going to equal approximately 6.9 times 10 to the power of 8 meters. Up to two significant figures, of course. Okay, folks, so hopefully that makes sense. If there are any questions about Stefan's law, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this video was useful.